Welcome. The topic is actually some kind of workflow video. We are in the process of making Arco Linux B ISOs. So we are updating everything, but also we can make an Arco Linux B minimal. We've created already a few of them. Now I was going to um, make a new one. The BSPWM is the one I'm working on currently. So this one. So you can get it, it's very simple on GitHub, just click clone, download and run and you have um, an ISO at the end. But this is an ISO of around 1.8, 1.9, maybe even 2 gigabytes. So all the software I need is on there. But it's up to you to see what is in your eyes a proper minimal BSPWM. So that's the project. Let's make an ISO. Article Linux B VSPWM minimal. Now, the first things uh, maybe you should not do. So, it all depends if you well see the value of GitHub. And I do, of course, because I need to share these scripts with you guys. So, I put everything online. So, I'm going to make a new one. So, at this point in time, you can skip all of this if you do not want to put it on your personal GitHub. Otherwise, you just continue, follow along. So if you have a personal GitHub, you make a repository name and you create a repository. That's it. Then we have here a link and let's start working. So this is just a workflow video, but of course, somewhere down the line, we'll be creating a minimal one as well. So open terminal, git clone me, whatever I have here, control V, and that thing is coming down. So that's fine. So I have now two folders. I'm gonna copy paste this one over because this is the proper installation. And this is, well, if I push it up, let's do that, open terminal. So let's push it to the net. And we say, um, copy paste, right? It's nothing more than that. But it means that we have now already something. It means that we have here uh, already a copy-paste BSPM latches now. Now we're going to change some things. Well, first off, I saw already that the README is wrong. So this is going to be a minimal desktop. Great. And when you are going to make installation scripts, you need to rename it as well. So this is going to be called min because we cannot use too many characters. I think 32 is the limit. So that's why it's not minimal, just to be safe rather than sorry. So that's that. So we have now a, well, you can put this online so we can segment it in comments, um, change the name. That's a good idea to do. So finally, uh, if you are retracing what did I do change the name click on it and you see okay minimal minimal done so that's easy for you to know later on what did I change now the installation uh, script is done this thing is of course the packages so now we are, are actually in the phase what I want what do I want on the ISO Okay, now I have done that process already in my eyes, of course, is of course my uh, choice. So we have here an Arco minimal, and there is another one, Openbox minimal, and here is another one, Plasma minimal, and there is another one, XFCE minimal. So I have made already in my eyes what I would call a minimal, not a bare bone, because then we are actually in Arco Linux D. So um, I'm gonna use one of those like this. Use my application melt, compare, open it up. So we can also click here, so everything is okay. This is BSB min, this is i3 min, and all the rest is the same. Check. So it's basically this one that's going to differ. So in i3, I say I don't want Atom, Catfish, and Chromium. I agree, I don't want that. That beef, I would like to have that beef in BSBWM. Mm, yeah, why not? Evolution is out, Firefox is out, Gcal creators out, GIMP is out, Inkscape is out, Melt. Mm -mm. I like my Melt, but it's a minimal, out. 
yeah, you have to make sacrifices, otherwise you can't call it a minimal. And I hate doing this simple screen recorder. I'm recording right now. It's out. Transmission is out. These are all the things that has a, that have hashtags. So to the left is BSP Tovia Minimal. I'm not installing that software on my system. Don't want sensors, don't like sensors. One cursor is enough. Use the one you like. Some fonts that going out. I3 status, it's BSP, so we don't need it. Arc icon theme, GNOME. You choose your one and only theme you like. This is gonna be tricky. Let's think. What am I what's best using? Control Z. It's Alex Appearance that we used to have. So I'm gonna change this back like so. Fine. Uh-huh. Maybe help it may help people to have Alex render. Okay. So ASCII Nima is out, Baobab out, all this out, glances is out, no GNOME screenshot anymore, GPIC, GTOP, HD Temp, HTOP, GR6, no Max. All these applications will not be installed. And you think about it when you click. Don't want it. Don't want it. Okay. So the breeze cursor just use the, the white one, so the, the snow X cursor breeze. So they can go. It's not i3, so I keep off. This is i3. Don't want i3 on my BSP WM. But all these icons can go. And that one as well. Just keeping Sardi. You choose another icon theme. Aor vote and that one out and Python wall, maybe you like Python wall. Just have some fun on the minimal. Yeah, it's up to you. Thems, and then this is out, and then we're coming to the more technical stuff. So these get, these elements from Arch Linux would say keep it as is. Um, so here BSP is out in i3, here it is in logically, and here is i3 out, and here is i3 in logic right obi log out obi log out fine it has the special obi log out bsp wm activated so all is good and we keep everything as is and we've th thought about that and everything is in order that's it we have built ourselves a so control s we built ourselves a minimal one how fast is that the only thing i need to do now is push it back to the net Um, selection of software to have a minimal PSPWM, by the way, which is an awesome window tiling manager. Try it. So we go back up here and we say reload three commits. It takes three commits and we have a new system right we have a new operating system that does not have atom atom hashtag out does not have catfish does not have chromium etc so i hope with this video you understand the power that we're giving you we can you can make now any kind of iso just run this thing i put it always here like so and then you say run the thing and then there are lots of tutorials and you can see what happens and at the end you have an iso there are lots of errors in there which is okay some errors are fine other errors well everything breaks and everything is then explained on uh, the website article links b or the forum where we help you what to do uh, for instance if you get a kernel update in don't build restart let a new kernel kick in then build Stuff like that, which is um, obvious for us, and uh, it's all explained on the form. So I hope this has been uh, interesting, and I do hope you find your way to articlinksp.com, where all the info is. All right, cheers.